Okay, so this problem is the limit as x approaches 16, x minus 16 over 4 minus square root of x. So here, um, as usual, for limits, the first thing you want to try is substitution. So we plug in 16. 16 minus 16 equals 0. Um, so you plug in 16 over here. 4 minus square root of 16 is 4, so 4 minus 4 is 0. So it's 0 over 0. That's not where we're looking for. So we try something different. So we know we want to get rid of this square root. So what we can do is we can look for something that can help us. So we see this 16 and we see this 4. So we know that they're related. Um, uh, because if you s square 4, you get 16. So you can rewrite it and you can put s square root, right? Square root um, of x squared. Because if, um, if you uh, square... Um, a square root, it just they both cancel, and then you'll be left with x. And here, you can rewrite it as 4 squared, is 4 squared is 16. So this equation, now we can factor this and make this um, this equation. So it's square root of x plus 4, square root of x minus 4. And if you, if you distribute it, you'll get this um, number again, because square root of x times square root of x just gets you x. And then negative 4 square root of x and positive 4 square root of x, they both cancel. And then finally, uh, negative 4 times plus 4 is negative 16. So this equals this. Um, but this is helpful because this, is, um, this top is starting to look like the bottom. So we can cancel something out. But it doesn't look like that yet, right? Because we don't have, we don't have, a, negative, um, we don't have a negative square root of x. So we take out this negative sign. So we take that out, so if once we take it out, it'll become a negative 4 and a positive square root of x. Because if you distribute this, you'll get a uh, positive 4 right here, and here, if you distribute it, you'll get negative x, square root of x, and that's right here. So, so now, now, it's starting, now it looks like something on the top, right? Because it's negative 4, negative 4, and square root of x, square root of x. So these two will now cancel, because it's just, it's the same thing, so it'll cancel. So now you're left with square root of x plus 4 over negative 1. Remember that this negative sign, just because these two cancel, doesn't mean this negative uh, 1 goes away. Because the negative 1 is invisible, but it stays there. So that remains, and now, now you since you've um, canceled something out, you can try substitution again. So you plug in the substitution, right? Plug in 16, um, plug in 16 right there. So square root of 16 is 4, and then 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 over negative 1 equals negative 8. And that's your answer. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.